In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Awesome MacBook Pro. Awesome MacBook Pro gives you an easy to animate 3D MacBook Pro displaying your content on screen. Awesome MacBook Pro was created exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the effects browser under Awesome MBP. I have some screen capture footage on my timeline bundled up into a compound clip. I'll drop Awesome MacBook Pro onto it. Immediately, we get a MacBook Pro model with our screen composited in it. The default settings animate a simple slide left to center with the screen automatically opening. In the parameters, you can turn on draft mode, which will give you a lower resolution model while you're customizing the effect. We can also switch the model between silver and space gray. You can set the screen to auto open, auto close, or choose a manual setting to leave the screen open or control by keyframing the open percentage slider. We have control over the content scale and rotation of the screen caps from my compound clip. I'll scale up a bit to crop out the Mac OS X toolbar. We can adjust the screen's brightness and glow. We can toggle on and off the glass reflection to taste. I think it looks great on. We have control over the key light on the laptop with several parameters to get the highlight just right. If I rotate the MacBook a bit on the X axis, you can see that we have a touch bar like the current model. I can control what the touch bar shows via the touch bar dropdown, as well as a drop zone for custom content. I'll add a white background and set the simple shadow parameter to soft, which adds to the realism of the model. Lastly, I'd like to add some depth blur. The camera focus can be set to follow the screen or to manual if you'd like to do some rack focus effects. I'll leave it set to the screen and raise the amount of blur slightly. The animation options really give you lots of power to move the MacBook around on the screen without having to keyframe. Currently, there is a simple A to B animation where the MacBook slides in and the lid opens up. You can design complex animations easily by making cuts in the compound clip and setting the move parameter to different settings. I'll make three clips with cuts. On the first clip, I'll set A back in the frame and B to center. This will move A to B. On the second clip, I'll leave B in the same place and move A a little closer to the camera and rotate it. Then I'll set the move from B to A and adjust the easing for start and end. I'll set the screen to manual so it stays open for this move. On the third clip, I'll set the A settings as in the previous clip and the screen open to manual, and then set the move from A to full screen. You can adjust the duration of the animation in seconds with the duration slider. If you need any help with the animations, there's a quick help screen at the bottom of the move dropdown. Awesome MacBook Pro is a must have for modern editors needing to composite screen captures for motion graphics. Create a complex animation in seconds with no keyframing. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.